Fort Worth was where the West began. It's got a lot of Wild West history. I mean, Butch Cassidy used to come through here. We've got Sundance Square named after that. Cattle drives, the Chisholm Trail. A lot of history, a lot that we're proud of. My great-grandfather lived here. I'm fourth generation Fort Worth. My favorite memories growing up were out here at the ranch, spending time with my dad, with my brother, hunting and fishing. Such a special connection with food that when I made the restaurant, I wanted to capture that warm ranch house feel too. This dish is smoked antelope salad. Before as a chef, I was a science teacher. That's what cooking really is. It's a great background to have to be successful in the kitchen. Once we've got this antelope full of all these seasonings, it's time for the magic to happen inside our smoker. The smoke itself becomes a whole nother layer of seasoning. It keeps it really juicy. And we just finish it with a crumble of Texas queso fresco cheese. The stockyard still has that really cool Wild West kind of mentality. They still run Longhorn cattle up and down the street just to give you a sense of what it would really be like to have a cattle drive from right down the street. You can feel the heritage, and yet the city just a few blocks away has this incredible modern culture right there as well. We really take a lot of pride in having unbelievable museums, art collections. It's not a concrete jungle. Fort Worth has plenty of open spaces. The fields are lush and green with big blue skies, wide horizons. The people in Fort Worth are just so down to earth. They're very warm and welcoming. You can see eight guys lined up and not be able to pick out which one is the billionaire. Everybody's still in their boots and jeans, enjoying some local cuisine. Fort Worth may have 800,000 people nowadays, but it's still a small town. We all still know each other.